Okay, uh, this is a little presentation of uh, compare and contrast, three different light bulbs. We'll start with the VOS 1958. So the 58s have a relatively thick neck, a little bit baseball bat-like. They have the non-figured top, but uh, slightly faded. And of course, the standard so one-piece mahogany back. Um, the luthiermanship on them is absolutely impeccable, and their playability and sustain, in my experience, go well above all the other Les Pauls that I've played, with maybe just one exception that I'm going to present along here, which is the Cloud 9, which was a limited series of, of Gibsons made with chambered bodies that you've probably heard about for two guitar shops in the States. So it has a Brazilian rosewood uh, neck, if I'm not mistaken, a slightly uh, easier neck, slightly thinner. Um, you, know, you will see the, the woods are extraordinary. It just has a brightness, a snap, and a sustain, which is extremely bright and crystalline. I would say. So this guitar for me has a couple of tonalities which the VOS doesn't. On the, one hand, on the other hand, I would say that when it comes to the really hard snap, and if you want the really rocky uh, type of sound, the VOS, probably in the lower notes, has a little bit more kick. Then you have the Paul Kossoff, which is a reissue limited edition. Um, and the woods are spectacular. I don't know if you can see it here. Faded, so it's like a, a honey burst, faded. The neck is spectacular too, with different colorations and, and patterns in the wood. The neck is in between the two others. Um, it has Grover headstock, because that's what Paul Kossoff had. And it comes with a special um, certificate, which unfortunately is going to appear backwards here, because I'm doing this on an iMac, and it basically just says that this guitar was made according to the highest standards and specifications to resemble as closely as possible Paul Kossoff's. So this series here, it's not the number one, number two, number three, number four, for example, Sandy that's going to be coming out, um, where they took specific Les Balls that didn't have, or they don't speak about their history specifically, and they, they reproduce them as exactly as they possibly can. Those guitars have a phenomenal sound too, but these, these are ones made for specific artists. So this one has everything except the heavy relicking. They do do a version with heavy relicking, but I didn't see the point of getting a guitar also in this price range and having it sort of bashed up and all. I want to conserve uh, what I would refer to as more to the, the beauty of the woods.